Yo, 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 this is Hal, a spit buzz, like I'm Cadbury's diabetics, be afraid of me, Huxley, here with my man. So, so, I just had rice, it was pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here for week 10, game 2 of the Alpha Cruises Esports community competitive season. Don't forget to catch us on YouTube, we post all of the clips up on a Monday, so you can see all the replays and relive those magical moments you can also check us on uh twitter so you can see when we're going to be going live and we post a bunch of interesting stuff up there obviously twitch which is probably where you're catching us right now you can also check out our website at www.oceace.com and uh there's more things there you can check out swifty's corner for some lead builds uh, we have profiles on some of the teams and some of the players. We have card of the week. It's kind of awesome. All right, we're going to get this thing started in three, two, one, play. Awesome. So just just bringing up the bands here and what we have in terms of the bands is that Sagorable have banned Revenant and Super Mario Brothers have banned Phase. So introducing that Classic. Gorbel. Sorry? Classic. Yeah, I know, typical. Um, we have That's Agorable and introducing Ankir on the Decker, Mike Krebic on the Fae, Darius on the Bellica, G1 on the Sev, and High Primate on the Grim. And introducing Super Mario Brothers, we have Ramens on the Kwang, Shake and Bake on the Crunch, Lambda Find on the Howie, Mimidian on the Navash, and Benora on Sparrow. Interesting, mate. Um, team compositions, don't you think, Al? Yeah, very interesting. I uh, have to say I do like the Super Mario Bros. team comp. I think that they might be able to get some tasty wombo combos off there with the uh, Narbash ulti, the Quang tether, and Shake and Bake being able to lock down uh, you know, a character or two. And if they can drop the old Howie or uh, you know, Sparrow ulti on top of that, they could really clean up. That said, um, I do see Juwan and uh, Microbic on their chosen characters of choice. Uh, you know, with the Fey and the Sevi, they are pretty strong on those characters. It'll be interesting to see how things go down. I'm not so sure that they can, uh, you know, wombo combo as effectively. They've got the Decker Cage and um, Microbic's, uh, you know, ultimate, whatever that's called. Uh, <laughs> it's like a Venus flag yeah. front. <laughs> yeah, you know, the Fey yeah. ultimate. Um, <laughs> All good. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure how they're going to be able to utilize that. Yeah, that was that was terrible casting right there. Uh, I don't need to look into that. Yeah. Uh, Microbic in deep. Microbic getting beaten like a drum by Mimidian. He got uh, trapped in minions there. Whittled Whoa. down to... Oh. Zigzagging his way out. No. Oh, I think Bonora should have dived that. Mimidian had to get out. He was too low. My Krobic escaping with a sliver of life. Yes. After those minions surrounded him and just bullied him. The, uh... Could have been first blood there. Um, I don't know if there was a miscommunication between Bonora and Mimidian, but um, you know, one shot. I think if there was an early communication, that could have been first blood. Yeah, absolutely. That would have been a nice early little uh, pick-me-up for Benora. But uh, that said, Microbic's still hanging around, still low health. Uh, he is going to be running a healer's token, as should all good offlaners. So, you know, he's going to be able to uh, just heal up, come back. They're not going to do too much damage to the tower at this early point in the game. Yep, and on the inverse, I think Ramens is taking a few pokes as well, so no, it looks like both offlaners are getting harassed by their equivalent some um, supports and counterparts are carrying. Yeah, absolutely. Microbic's doing a good job of wearing Mimidian down, actually. Just checking this out. Mimidian down to half health on the old Nabash. Yeah, I mean, I guess the good thing about Faye is um, her right mouse button. So if you're on hit, you gain your mana back. So that's a lot of poke if you can get it. Yeah, Nabash is a nice big target as well. Like, that's a juicy target right there. So, it's Speaking just a target. The G1 might be in trouble here by shaking back and down to find. Oh, getting bullied. A nice so, oh. Will he get out? Shake and Bake just missing his dash there. Things could have been very different had that gone down. Shake and Bake might be in trouble here. He gets stunned. Oh. Oh, shaking Ooh, and Bake out. Landafine just body blocking. Very nice there by the duo. 
Yeah, really surprising. There's uh, been a couple of moments here where I thought it might be their last, but <laughs> both teams doing well to uh, to you know, protect their team in that yep. last little scuffle. Yeah, Robin's just fallen back there, just trying to harass. I know on the inverse here, kind of looks like uh, Microbic's not doing too bad here. Um, given that he's ranged, so he should be able to, uh, I guess in theory, um, you know, hold his own. Yeah, definitely. Just checking out CS, we're very close. 59 to that's horrible versus 52 for Super Mario Bros. So not to be too unexpected. Uh, the pressure from both teams seems to be, you know, pretty even weighted, to be honest. Yep, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think um, they're, they're all rotating at the right times. Um, given that the river buff comes up, they do try to contest it. Um, looks like Darius misses his uh, oh, bomb. Bernard and with the steel. But there's a mission uh, bash is thunk there, so Darius might be getting out to safety. And yeah, it looks like <laughs> Mario Brothers are roaming pretty hard here, but uh, can't yeah. seem to get a catch. Yeah, just lurking. The Midian behind the fog wall. They're just waiting for uh, Microbic to pop out, but I don't think that's going to happen. He's pretty safe where he is, and he's going to be aware, surely, that... Uh, this danger lurking. Oh, microbic just responding back to the pokes. Yeah, not a worry at all. Oh, learn the fine taking on Darius here, and Darius gets poked quite a few times, and Darius returns the uh, responds to that mine and R2000 with a knock up. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so evenly. Oh, Undefined gets the R2000 on Darius, knocks him down to about a quarter health, just uh, edging him closer to death. Yep, and it looks like Undefined is healing back his um, damage to Darius as well, so uh, kind of puts Darius at a disadvantage given that um, he only has a healer token, whereas Undefined has a healer token and a mana potion just to poke and stuff as well. Yeah, so absolutely. That... Oh, lands another R2000. Sorry, it looks like Mimidian has a circular to health, which is helping him heal. Um, whereas Anchor hasn't really upgraded his yet. So that's probably the difference between the two pokes. Yeah, Lan Defined now back at full health and pushing that mid tower, creating some pressure. Gonna get a couple of cheeky hits on it. Definitely will. But yeah, it looks like um, both teams are playing quite conservative. They're sticking to the lanes. Uh... It doesn't look like there's too much action happening bar the um, river buff contests and shaken back is low as well so i've got a feeling they'll want to make a play but uh yeah and kiri zoning out lander finds trying to keep him away, away from the buff lander finds got black oh the knock up great move by the oh me old zoning will he get out oh pops himself back up that was a great mine by Lander Fine, but he's oh, been slowed. Juwan's gonna take the pick. That said, Rammer is, is now in a dangerous position. Yeah, he took Rammer the running into Juwan. No mana. He's been subjugated. Oh, he's Body in blocked. He's going well down. Played. Well played by Juwan there. Just being a meat shield. Yeah, that's adorable. Uh, getting another pick there. They uh, played that well. Great plays. Yeah, I've noticed that um, Drew won once he comes online, he gets up in the faces of any team and opponent. So um, I guess he is in his comfort pick with Sevi. Oh yeah, on. yeah, he loves a bit of Sevi, uh, and he does it well. Namidian seemingly out of position here, and not sure <laughs> what he was thinking. Gets him off it. Oh, well, Undefined gets the bounce to keep his teammates safe. Juwan wants blood. Juwan is hungry. Ah, uh, will he get it? The subjugate! Oh. Yeah! Juwan with another pick! That's his third for this game. He is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. That was like literally how many minutes between the two? That was about just within a minute. Got three kills, so that... Fight. Yeah, great pressure. That's giving him the great spike he needs. He's got six CP to spend, so... Maybe yeah, absolutely. Spend. He's leading. He's on 12 CP now. He is up there with uh, the enemy carry, Benora, on 12. Um, higher Primate on 11 CP at the moment, so... Uh, the jungler for that's horrible doing some great work here, ladies and gentlemen. He definitely is. Um... It looks like the river buffs are up again and Shaken Bake gets invisible and on the inverse it looks like um, 
Yeah, Drew, oh, yeah, we've got three yeah. lurking mid. They want some picks. Darius dropping back. It's uh, not the best time for this to be occurring, really. Shake and Bake going into jungle. Going to try and come up behind, perhaps, or drop some cheeky wards. Juwan also in Viz. Juwan coming in mid. Yeah, but he's revealed, so uh, they know he's in middle. Whereas Shake and Bake is um, he's still just lurking around. Yeah, they've backed in behind the fog wall. What are they doing here? They're just kind of checking out jungle. They're going to steal the green by the looks of it. Smart move. Do something. Grab something. Absolutely. Yeah. Shake and Bake takes that green. No problems. Uncontested. Darius gets a, a shot off, but that's about it. Looks like we might have some action here. Shake and Bake wandering down river. Yeah, it looks like he wants Microbic. Microbic might be in trouble. He's deep warning. Um, <laughs> they're going in on this. Three. Oh, the stun gets landed. they oh, behind him. Melted. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Benora drops the ulti. And uh, Microbic absolutely cleaned up there. Yeah. Uh, I think that was Shake risky. Bake. Shake oh. and Bake got a pick. Yeah, I think that was risky of Microbic trying to D-ward around um, two heroes in front of him. And one coming up. I don't think he knew, and so he backed it. But uh, I guess yeah, the, um, having D warding it's hard because you can actually have that used against you as a bait as well. So I mean, something They've to keep just in mind. Off of that tower. I, Super Mario Bros. just melting that tower. He would have known because the ward went down, so he would have seen another ward appear. Um, so unless he was assuming that it was Namidian, uh, Narbash dropping his ward but I don't think so so I think he probably should have played that a little bit more carefully knowing that Narbash can uh, you know lock you down with his yeah. uh, stun quite easily I think Shake and Bake with invis these guys are rotating Super Mario Bros thinking about Raptors and they're in a great position here with Shake and Bake having a <laughs> Shake and Bake glorious. Anchor. he's just zoning <laughs> zoning out Anchor Anchor getting bounced about Microbic is in trouble here. And oh, Microbic and there down. goes that combo drop. Darius right. goes down as well. Oh, Hi Prime is out of position here. He might get dropped. <laughs> out of position. <laughs> Got popped out, and it looks like they're going in one at a time. Juwan is in trouble. He's getting melted by him, shaken, but he gets a oh. sub to get out. He misses that pierce. Oh, the R2000 from Land to Find. Great long bomb there. That's team That's down. It. <laughs> yeah, Narbash missed the stun. I thought Juwan might get away, but uh, clipped up by the Howie R2000. Love a bit of a snipe. Great plays, guys. And that's Raptors uncontested, because they were dead. <laughs> yep, yep. Not much that you can do when you're uh, chilling back at core. Mm, that's it. That looks like they're pushing out all the lanes. Um... Even though um, I guess Super Mario Bros have lost, I mean it's a trade for trade right now, um, and I feel that um, you know I think that's a gobble. They tend to um, play a bit conservative. Shake and bake very low here. Ankir chasing. Will they get a pick? Microbic coming in. I think he's going to get out. Microbic is going deep for it. No, he's backing no, off. Back, yep. Probably for the best there. Yeah, so interesting plays. Just checking the CS. We're, they're still very close. That's Gorbel on 186 versus Super Mario Bros. on 194. It's really the picks that are doing it for Super Mario Bros. They've got seven kills versus three. Uh, Benora sitting on 19 CP versus Higher Primate on 17. Oh, so not too much difference. Oh! And gets knocked up and poked Pumped. Benora. Yeah, nice. Super Mario Bros. Yeah. They're, they're doing quite well with the pickoffs, um, Super Mario Bros. Very they aggressive. Are. They really are, I think, running um, That's a Global's um, rhythm. Rhythm. Yeah. Because Going in, taking that green buff again, shake and bake. They're really <laughs> pushing in the offensive wards as well. Benora coming up on Microbic here. Might be coming in to rustle some jimmies. I think Microbic might be in trouble here. No, he gets away safe. Yeah, yep. protecting that tier one. Nicely done. And I think something that I like about um, Super Mario Brothers is they really do try to get through. Um, a bait um, a bit slow to come online, but they make it work with the pickoffs, and I think that's a gorable. Um, they do come online a bit later on. They play very conservative. They don't play aggressive. 
whereas Super Mario Bros. do. So it'll be interesting to see how um, you know some team fights will turn out because if you can respond in a very fast manner, then you know anything can happen. Yeah, that's the beauty, really. You know, I've had a few games recently. You know, you're, you're two in hits down, you're low prime, you come back, it's amazing. You go for a bit of a backdoor core dive, uh, it's fantastic. I can backdoor if the in hits are down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something not going to happen this early. Uh, OP will be up in another 20 seconds, but uh, I don't think either team's going to be thinking that far ahead just yet. Yeah, both mid towers still very intact. Uh, Mimidian lurking in the shadows here. Benora and the Undefined starting to push mid. Drew one is around as well, so um, they could probably hear Drew one. Yeah, black buff has come up. The Undefined is going to take it. They're going in on Drew. He's, He's got a green buff as well. He's fine. Darius Shaw getting uh, pumped up. Oh, the pull in. The Undefined might just get out of this zoned well. Darius is in trouble here. Darius dies to run in. And the team now all come in. I think that was an awkward position there. And oh. uh, Duon's out and out. And Harpite goes down. Anchor is really... What a wall shot by the... That piercing shot through the wall kills Anchor. That's four. Damn. <laughs> Vicious. Microbic's going to have to back up here. He should not even be up that far. Um, He's been pinned. He's going down as well. Shake and bake gets a pick. Great plays by Super Mario Bros. That was probably Mimidian. the second team wipe there. <laughs> yeah, Mamidian keeping his team safe. They landed the tether, the uh, Kwong tether and the uh, Narbash stun. Pretty sure this is going to be a tier two. They're going ham on this tower. It's not staying up, folks. It's Damn. it's falling faster than laundry. <sighs> and while that's happening, their land defined goes in and gets uh, the other lanes happening as well. So, I don't know. Like, that was beautifully played by um, Super Mario Brothers. Just really just going for the pickups, and I think that's a goal. We need to kind of you know tighten up their um, positionings because um, it really is cracking, and I think Super Mario Brothers are really picking on it as well. Definitely. They're now going in on that tier one, and they've taken that left tier one. They've peppered the uh, that's a Gorbals jungle jungle with wards. Jungle girl. <laughs> jungle girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So interesting plays. That's going to slow down that's a Gorbals rotations as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how they recover from this. Uh, that's it. CS yeah, still very close. That's Gorbal two fifty five versus Mario Bros on two seventy seven. Uh, Benora is pushing ahead on 30 CP versus Higher Primate on 22. Ooh. So 8 CP lead, that is a sizable lead, particularly on a Sparrow. She can shred. Uh, she's got that nasty snipe. She's pretty sweet. Yeah. In terms of CP-wise, it looks like um, that's good, but are quite behind. Um, and I think um, they need to, I think, you know, set lanes up and just slowly just farm their jungle. Um, just the slow push down their side. And Things happening over here at, uh, at Raptors. Mamidian going in, misses the stun. I'm thinking this. Oh, Shaken Bait goes in deep. Shaken Bait getting locked down. Multiple moves dropped. Oh, High Primate gets a pick. Dario Shaw very low, needs to get out. Anchor's really frontlining here, and he fought back. Oh, they are My chasing. God, getting chased. Oh, the Dekistan did not connect. Oh, that sucks. I really think that should have connected. And Shake and Bake's going to get the green as a consolation prize. Shake and Bake loves that green. He has just been all over that consistently, taking that. Microbic, just harassing Shake and Bake. I like that. I like that sass. <laughs> just uh, get back, you know, tiny little uh, fairy versus a massive robot. Nah, get out of my jungle, bro. <laughs> Undefined, starting on the wraps. Set it up for Benora to be able to take <laughs> shake and bake. Craftily snakes one. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, how do you we'll make it rain? Uh, you can't how stop dare you? <laughs> 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 you can't stop that rain, baby. That's it. Looks like. um. Might be a fight happening mid, maybe? No. <laughs> that long ball deck is that misses. 
Yeah, it looks like they're going to head back, reset. So Super Mario Bros. really pushing ahead, and it's basically based on their kill count. They've got 14 kills versus four on that global side. So almost four times the amount of kills there. It's, uh, and I think that's contributed to the CP lead. They just don't 100%. Yep. You know, and that's also contributing to their uh, their real estate gain as well. You know, they really pushed down that mid. They got that team wipe, and um, yeah, they got that team. Yeah. I mean, I dare say if they keep pushing the lanes, they could probably go for an early or well, not really an early or primer. They could probably get an old primer and then finish it off and win the game if they wanted to. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that's a horrible uh, respond to this. They are going out and putting out those defensive wards, but they are on the back foot at this stage of the game. Three pushing up mid, Mermidian running into enemy jungle. Now they're lurking. I think they just want a cheeky pick. Line to find, trying to bait something out here. Yeah. I, I kind of feel that um, with such a huge advantage with Super Mario Brothers, they can just make any plays they want. And they can force because they put high CPs. Like, you know, they can keep yeah. continuing and do something with it. Whereas that's a gorbel. They need to really concentrate on focusing on getting the CP catch ups, keep the lane maintenance closer to a position where they can actually farm comfortably, or at least try steal a more Primal Raptor. Yeah, I think that's right. They need a lane freeze, they need to regain some map control. They're oh. really just consistently getting pushed back. Yeah, it looks like um, Shake and Bake might be in trouble here. Is this balls of it? And uh, no, yeah, it's, uh... we've got a team fight happening. It's gonna break out any second. Rammer coming up through the fog wall. He's just lurking, just lurking. Rammer and Zed hanging around, waiting for a cheeky pick. Landa Find has the blue buff. He's gonna rustle some Jimmies. I'm pretty sure. Gonna want to try and get that bounce mind cracking. Yeah, I promise knows what's happening. He's really he's at the front line here. Oh, Rammers is going in. He has got the tether on higher. Gets locked down though. Cage here. No, no follow up with the cage, which uh... That's Ooh. it. Do one clearing. People will be going down here, and first one to go down is my. Prime getting body blocked. Shake and bake takes the pick. That's two for naught. At the advantage of Super yeah, Mario Brothers. 3v2, uh, 5v2, my apologies. Sorry, 3v5. What am I saying? Juwan gets Ooh. taken down. <laughs> They're stunned by Mamidian to the long bomb from the Undefined. That R2000 just catching him right in the face. I think Darius might be in trouble here. He has no mana. I think he's low mana. That's the I thing here. Probably gonna have to give this up, otherwise it's death coming their way. Darius is in very dangerous position. Oh. Get locked down, body blocked, Panora takes the pick. Prime mate just chops that all there. He wants some consolation prize here, but uh, won't be able to succeed. Yeah, not oh, enough, not enough. And Landafan's gone back to defend the tier 2 here. Um, might be losing this one potentially. No, um, likely gets rid of that siege minion. So this could be a potential um, or prime if um, Super Mario's wanted to, really. Um, yeah, oh, in jungle we have Rammer's going. Perfect. Rammer, low. very low. Lands the tether though. He lands the tether and he's gonna get out. Oh, dodges oh. the Dekistan. That would have been amazing had that landed. <laughs> Anki just missing the stun. Microbic wants it though. He's low. Microbic is thirsty. He wants that kill. He's not oh, gonna let it go. He it? He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Oh, well done. Thirsty. He was thirsty. Yeah. Six That's it. Drink it up like a milkshake. Ah. Uh, just got yeah. wrecked. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm surprised that um, Super Mario Brothers, I think they were all back at that point, so they couldn't respond. But uh, I think Ramen could have um, potentially um, ran straight into the tier two as opposed to downwards. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think he was in a, 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 a think heat of the moment. <laughs> ended and um, yeah, he thought he might be able to take on uh, Microbic 1v1. Microbic just, uh, yeah. Popping in there. Yeah, that's it. Doing some damage, you know. Faye can output the damage quite well. Uh, that's it. Second so Quang, really. Yeah, but interestingly enough, the tier ones are still up for um, Mario Brothers, except for the um, left lane, their off lane. So I really see that as P 
opportunity there for um, that's Gorable. They should really capitalize on those tier ones. That will give them a little bit of a, a boost that they need potentially. Um, at the same time, gives them space to roam as well. Yeah, definitely. Super Mario Bro is going in, collecting Raptors again. Uh, they're okay. really maintained. Yeah. Absolutely. Benora's that's just really helping. Lead. Yeah, really helping push ahead. Benora now on 45 versus higher prime rate on 31. So that's mm -hmm. a sizable lead. 14 CP. That is going to shred. Uh, Sparrow, she does some damage. And with the lockdown, it's out. I believe they are. Juwan might be aware of it, I'm not sure. Shake and bake going into zone. Juwan is aware, he's realized what's going on. Oh, Juwan. The thunk from the Midian. There's an ult there by Microbe. Oh, not a bad little ulti drop there. They really need to get the ult time. Thank you for going ham on it. Oh, oh Benora gets it, gets picked. The Midian dropping ulti. Darius is in trouble here. Bounced. He's in a very... Oh, R2000. And I think this might be game. I kind of feel like I'm um, sort of pushing Oh, me yeah. Back. Yeah, I think they're going to push for the win here. Higher needs to get back, needs to get to health. <laughs> the blink. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the blink to the R2000. The hands are fine. Beautiful play. I love oh, it. Oh, that oh, was awesome. awesome. <laughs> Primate clearly not expecting that out of nowhere. That's okay. really gonna seal the deal. Yeah, there's no coming back. My dumps it for us. I don't know what was happening there. I don't know if he got bounced. He got bounced out, yeah. Ah, uh, Lion Defined bounced him out with his bounce mine. Wow. Well played. Well played, well played. Yeah, look, Super Mario Bros. just uh, maintaining that lead, maintaining that pressure. Really, really, you know, both teams farming well, but uh, the Super Mario Bros. is just able to maintain that kill count. Uh, at the end of the match, they've come out 23 to 5, so more than four times the kills, and that's really what helped propel Benora having six of those kills um to be as high as cp as he was 49 at the end of the game there closing in on full build what are your thoughts there sozo yeah i think um super mario brothers did well um though about the uh, slow start but um it really shined when shaken back land of find um and mamidian and robin's just all rooming together um really picking it off i think um that's a goal we really need to think about um i guess their play style, it is very conservative and I think it doesn't really complement Juwon, um, whereas Juwon is really up in um, the faces, so I think, um, you know. He likes to get up in your grill. That's it. I think maybe back to the drawing boards for that's a gobble, just to think about um, who should roam, who should stay in farm, because I do feel that um, I noticed that my Krebic always is potentially just trying to push off lane, which then leaves the other four to do something and, um, you know, you really want your farm, I mean, your carried farm and not to roam as much so i really think that um you know they might have to think about how they play next time around but all in all um super mario brothers did well in um, obtaining the lead and keeping that lead um real well and snowboard at the end result and that's um pretty much the end result is they took the win yeah look farm was quite consistent benora the sparrow was on 127 cs versus higher primate on 116 so farm wise i think they were quite close um i think that had they had a different mid laner perhaps they didn't have anything they had a beautiful combo there with the decker cage and the fey whatever the hell it's called ultimate <laughs> 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 Fly trap, fly trap. That's what it is. Thank you, Al, director. Um, right but hand. they had nothing to follow it up with, and they rarely did. You know, they could draw people into this place, but what were they going to do after that happened? They didn't yeah. have any kind of, uh, you know, AOE effectiveness, and I think that really let them down, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think that. Um... You know, imagine throwing in a, a gadget Tesla dome on top of that. It would have been GG. True, true, true. But uh, I dig we digress. Good work, both teams. Better luck next week there.
Yes, yes. So we have another two matches coming up later this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Probably going to go to air around about 9.30ish, I would hazard a guess. Maybe a tad later, just depending on uh, when one of the teams can start. And with that said, don't forget to catch us on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, all of the things. You can check out our website at www.oceace.com. This has been Hal Huxley. With your best friend, Sozo. For Alpha Cruises Esports. Peace. Peace.